everybody. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Today is the beginning of the weekend. I hope you're all enjoying and getting ready to do some fun stuff with your family, with your friends, by yourself, some self-care, whatever it is. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And if you are working this weekend, I hope you make a ton of money. Get them money, honey. I am sharing my Dollar Tree haul with y'all today. And normally I would plug in my last DIY here, but this week I actually did a nail video. So if you are into nails, go ahead and check that out. If not, that's okay. I won't get upset at you for not watching. It's totally cool. But I really hope that you enjoy this channel and stick around by subscribing to this channel because once you hit that subscribe button, we instantly become best friends. Did we just become best friends? Yep and please click that notification bell so you know every time I post a video. So today, I have been complaining about Dollar Tree putting fall stuff out, but I did go ahead and purchase fall floral because you can go ahead and use this in arrangements now. Plus, these are so beautiful, and I think that this is the first time that Dollar Tree puts these out. And it is eucalyptus. Look how beautiful these are. These look like something that they would sell at Michael's for like $7.99 a stem. So this is eucalyptus, and it is in a nice burgundy shade, so it's going to look gorgeous in all of your fall arrangements. Look at the size of these. These are two together so i bought four in total and look how full they look they're going to look really gorgeous when you put a wreath a uh, floral arrangement together i also purchased more of these mums chrysanthemums and this is just one bouquet and that looks really really nice and full these are one of my favorite fall flowers and they're just a little bit darker than the eucalyptus so together they look pretty great Another fall floral that I bought was just this filler bouquet. I love it. I feel like fall floral does really look realistic. Some of it, some of it doesn't, but it is really pretty. And some of these you can kind of sneak into summer arrangements and it'll look really, really good. So I did want to share this. This isn't from Dollar Tree, but it is a dollar and I know a lot of folks have trouble finding certain floral at Dollar Tree. So this is 97 cent greenery from Walmart. I use Walmart greenery all the time in my videos. I feel like it takes Dollar Tree flowers up to the next level because their greenery, Dollar Tree's good greenery is more like leaves and not so much of a bouquet filler. But when you take some Dollar Tree flowers and you pop in some of the Walmart greenery or even Amazon or Michaels greenery, I think it just looks so much better and it takes away from the fact that these flowers, to be honest with you, they do look pretty, but some of them do look a little on the cheap side. I also did purchase these and these are also some of my favorite flowers to purchase during the season and I think that you can definitely use them in a summer bouquet together. They look so good. My Dollar Tree has a little craft section where they have Mod Podge and all sorts of glitter glue and stuff. And this week I found these little storage containers. They come in a pack of four and there's another one that comes in a pack of two, which was a much larger container. These are really great for storing crystals, gems, leftover glitter. I use them a lot to store my nail stuff and to store like tiny little pearls. I do have a ton of nail accessories that are teeny tiny. Most of the time I end up using old nail cases, but this is really convenient as well. Plus, I think you can actually pour a very small candle in this. I'm not sure if this is... I'll have to look into that. I'll ask my cousin who does candles professionally and if you have a chance, go over to her Instagram. I'll link it, or I'll put the name up here. It's The Candle Co. They are spectacular, and I think she's doing this thing now where if you send back the jar, you get a certain percentage off of your next candle. I don't know, I'd have to look into it, but it's really great, great candles. The next thing I purchased in the craft aisle were these little foam balls. These do come in handy for Christmas crafts. 
but during Christmas I can never find them so I went ahead and purchased them now. I am starting to keep a notebook basically of inventory of stuff that I have so that when I start crafting I don't forget that I own these things and buy them twice which is something that happens often to crafters or just anyone. It also helps me create ideas with you know, sometimes you just buy things and you forget that you have them. I have a really good system going on where I kind of remember everything that I have, but little things like this do slip through the cracks because since this is hard to find, when I finally find it, I forget that I did and I think I'm still looking for it, if that makes any sense. In the bathroom slash laundry aisle, I found this really large mesh laundry bag. They have them in different colors, but I like to use things like this because it is really large so you can actually craft with this. You can cut it into squares and use it on a picture frame. You can paint on top of this to get a really really cool scale effect. There's so many things you can do with this and of course you can use it as a laundry bag or as a toy bag, whatever you want. Aha! I did buy them. So I bought more of these storage containers. These are the two that I was talking about. They come in a much bigger size than the other ones. So your storage options are limitless. And I think they have ones that are just single ones that are much larger than this as well. Don't quote me on that. I know that for sure Dollar Tree has the large ones that have the little uh, metallic thing in the back, but I don't know if they have just plain ones. They might. My store stocked up on more Shopkins things, and like I mentioned in my last haul, I'm stocking up on a lot of Shopkins stuff to put gift baskets together to donate later on, and I have a ton of Shopkins activity books, markers, these little things, and I feel like, I, if y'all know where I can get like a gift bag that is flat, like something where I can put uh, journals and stuff like that, please let me know because that's what the idea that I had. I wanted to put the activity book, the markers, and everything in a flat bag with these at the bottom. I didn't want to do an actual basket because filling them, if you've seen my gift basket videos, fill, I usually fill them with like Dollar Tree shirts at the bottom and if I don't know who I'm donating it to, I'm not just going to fill it with random size shirts. I can't believe I forgot to show you these. If you remember in the spring, they had these little things that were much longer and drooped down and I made a little heart shaped sign thing with them. I even took the greenery off and made a little plant. These are similar. They don't have the cool greenery at the bottom. These are silk or cloth or whatever they are, but they do have the shorter version of those things. So I think this would look really cool in a bouquet. I don't necessarily know if it'll look cool with these, but you know what I mean. They're short, they're nice for a little pop of color and texture in a bouquet would be really, really nice. I have 3,000 little succulent plants from Dollar Tree and every time I go and I see the particular one that I like, I always purchase more, but I have noticed that this year the succulents are not that great. I believe the quality on the ones that they had the year prior and the one before that looked a lot nicer, but if you feel these, they feel a little funky and they do look funky. Like they don't look as nice. The other ones were nice and sleek and looked a little realistic. For this year, I noticed that I have to search through a ton because they're all funky looking. In the kitchen section, I found these little clip lock closures. I don't want to call them Tupperwares because I know, I know Tupperware is a brand. I've been told that a million times. Now these, I'm going to be completely honest with you, the little clippy things are not the best. Well, maybe these are. You really have to check whenever you are buying these at Dollar Tree, make sure that they all click in place because there are some lids that just don't fit right or they don't click right. So I did check these and they clicked nicely. I bought these to put some of Arya's small toys in it. In and in, in. Her small toys in. She has so many tiny pieces like Barbie accessories and stuff. And to help me organize, because I know I'm gonna ask her to organize and she's gonna put one thing here and one thing there and that's okay. But to help me organize and keep her toy box from looking like a disaster, which happens every two weeks, um, I've really liked using Tupperware, I'm gonna keep saying it, for organizing her toys, her little ones at least, and other accessories. I don't know why I do this to myself. 
probably because these things are expensive in other stores, but Dollar Tree doggy bags are a hit or miss. They're either excellent and none of them break, they open nicely, they're not sheer, or they are awful. So awful. Um, but I have two dogs and I gotta pick up poop and I'm not paying $15 for them. So I kind of take the gamble because over here in Long Island, they charge you for bags at the grocery store and at Dollar Tree or everywhere, which is why you see me with the paper bags now because this is what they do at my store. So I can't even use those. Hopefully these are good. I have noticed that the black ones don't work as well. Usually like the solid color, like the green ones or the purple ones are a little better. Let me know which one works for you if you use these or if you have the same experience as I do. But out of the three, four rolls, maybe three will be good, one will be a dud, but I'll still use it. <laughs> and then the coolest find, why did I do that accent? I don't know, are the letter boards with 50 letters. Is 50 letters enough? Probably not, but I did purchase more than one. Every time I saw these on Instagram when people would take a picture of them, I assumed that they were teeny tiny, that they were about this big, and I was pleasantly surprised when I saw them in stores because you can do a lot with this. This is really, really cute. You can put it in a nice frame. You can use this in a wedding, if you have a really cool rustic wedding where it's not all fancy schmancy, there's just so many things you can do with it. And I really, really love it for the price. It's amazing. I know that Target had the much bigger ones for $5 at one point during um, one of the seasons in their playground thing, which they should be updating soon. So maybe I'll do a little shop with me because I'm not looking to buy more decor pieces for my home unless I'm crafting with them. Um, but yes, Target does have these. They're just a little bit more expensive, but they are a lot bigger and probably bring a lot more letters. Either way, super cool. And then this I just thought was really, really cool. It's a fairy door wind chime, and these are made of wood, so you can go ahead and flip this over and stain it, which is what I love to do, or sand down the color and stain it. Um, if you have been trying to craft my truck decor, I do mention it in the video, but I know people skip over parts of the video and that's okay, but you can actually use the flat ones of these, the ones that are just square, and flip that over and use that instead of the bamboo uh, cutting boards because I know the bamboo cutting boards disappeared from all stores now. Some still have it, but it's really rare. So keep that in mind when you're crafting or you can just make that piece out of Jenga. So that's it for me. Thank you so, so much for watching. I do have a question. Usually I just tell you to leave a statement, which I will leave right here, but I do have a question and I wanna know, when and why did you sign up for my channel? So leave a comment below letting me know why you signed up, what video made you signed up, what signed up, what video made you sign up, and what you look forward to seeing on this channel. Because as much as I love, love, love Dollar Tree crafting, I really do want to express the other things that I can do. I do paint, I make fondant cakes, I am a nail tech. So I would like to sprinkle some of that stuff in so please let me know, why did you sign up to this channel? So I hope you all have a beautiful weekend. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.